Hi everyone, today I am playing Bee Swarm Simulator game on Roblox and this is part 9. I have been working on expanding my hive and also on completing the quests for all the bears in the game. And I see I've completed the quest for the black bear, so let's go talk to him. Nice job! This will make enough pumpkin honey to last me all year. One more quest and I'll give you a royal jelly. Nine more quests and I'll give you my diamond egg. I know these quests have been tough. Specific colors and fields, those can get pretty tedious. So for this next quest, I'll let you do whatever you want. Collect 375,000 pollen. That should be pretty easy. So I've been working at the pine tree forest field here, and at the same time I have been working on the three quests. The first one is the blue review, which is almost completed. Here we go. Um, also, it counts in for the quest for the black bear that I just got, since he didn't care which pollen I collect. So that will be done in a second. And also it collects pollen for polar bear. He asked me to collect some pollen from the pine tree forest. So that was pretty good. And let's go talk to Black Bear again, since I finished his quest. Nice job, you're doing great! To help you out, here is a royal jelly. Eight more quests and I'll give you my diamond egg. I got some festive gifts. Okay. That whole area behind the 15B gate is too intense for me. Mantises, scorpions, werewolves, it's straight out of a horror movie. You seem to be making yourself at home up there though. So why don't you collect 180,000 pollen from the cactus field and the pine tree forest? Sounds good, I can totally do that. But before I go up, let's convert the pollen into honey. And I believe I have a badge also I need to collect. Let's find it. Where is it? Oh, way up here, honey badge. Perfect, and I got another festive gift. Amazing. Alright, I believe I have enough honey to get a new egg. Perfect, so let's go hatch it. Let's see what kind of bee I get this time. And it is the basic bee, but I can use some royal jelly on it and see if I can. Awesome, new type discovered. It's a rascal bee, a mischievous bee who moves quick and hits hard. Keep an eye on this one. Here I am back at the pine tree forest here. So I had a couple more quests to complete in this field. So the polar bears part is done and now I'm almost done the quest for the black bear again. Perfect, so that is completed. And looks like I got another badge. Let's collect that. Where is it? Here. Strawberry badge. Lots of quests to complete. Let's go chat with the black bear again. Nice job. Three 
more quests and I'll give you a royal jelly. Seven more quests and I'll give you my diamond egg. Some pieces of equipment give you passive bonuses that help you out. For example, some hats give you instant pollen to honey conversion. That lets you stay out in the field longer before you have to return to your hive. As you become a more advanced beekeeper, those sort of bonuses become more important. Anyways, if you thought pink pineapple honey was good, just wait until you try this. Collect 200,000 blue pollen and 200,000 pollen from the pineapple patch. Sounds good. Alright, and I believe I need to defeat a couple more mantises for another bear here. Let's see. Come on, stay away from me. You can do this, bees. You can do this. Perfect. Thank you so much, bees. And just like that, the quest for Science Bear is completed. Let's go talk to him now. Fascinating, so there are at least 14 types of bees. Oh, and some detailed notes on common traits shared by blue stuff. By studying these, I believe I can unlock some potential in your swarm. Hmm. He's thinking... From here on out, your bees will be able to convert 25% more pollen to honey at a time. That brings the conversion efficiency bonus to 250%. Report back to me when you're ready to do more research. As technology becomes more advanced, we are able to learn more in even shorter periods of time. Each scientific breakthrough leads to countless others, but no matter how advanced our tools get, it's up to us to utilize them. And to do that, we've got to stay curious and continue to ask questions. There is no end to science because we've always got more to learn. More specifically, we can always discover new ways to enhance your bees. Ready for the next experiment? Collect 125,000 white pollen, collect 65,000 pollen from the strawberry field, collect 65,000 pollen from the cactus field, defeat three scorpions, defeat three spiders, and most importantly, discover 15 types of bees. Report back when your research is complete. And looks like I got another badge, so let's claim that as well. Dandelion badge. I'm on the way to my hive now to convert some pollen into honey. Hi Eric, can I have your honey? Give me all your honey please. No? Okay, I'll just make my own. Come on bees, let's get to work. Okay, so let's take a look actually how many bees and how many different bee types do I have? Um, okay, where is it? Here. You have 21 bees and you've discovered 15 types of bees. Hmm. I wonder, because I have some doubles here, can I transform them into something else? I already have this one. Hasty, I have one. Oh, this is a new type. It's um, Demo B, an elite bomber bee who has worked its way up the ranks. It is an expert in explosives. Let's take a look. Another one. Okay, I have this guy. Bomber I have. New type Riley, leader of the red bees and longtime rival of Baka Bee. Its very nature has elevated it above the rest. 
have any more. Okay, I see right here. I think it's a bumblebee. Yep, transform. Um, hasty, cool. Got this one. Got this one now. Okay, let's keep trying. I would really like to discover some more types. Awesome! Rage bee. A very angry bee who has been wronged its whole life. It harnesses its rage to become more powerful. Sounds good. So I have 21 bees and 18 different types of bees I've discovered. Perfect. Epic. Legendary. Hmm. I don't have any of those discovered yet. Mythic. I don't think so. I don't think I have any of the mythic. And ones. Nope. None of those either. That's okay. I'll keep playing. Hopefully I'll get some very rare ones soon. And I'm back at the pine tree forest field. It has been very helpful lately. I've used it in a lot of my quests. And now I'm just collecting some blue pollen for the black bear's quest. Somebody else is working at this field right now and it's a chaos here. I can't even see my own bees. And the quest is completed. Perfect. Let's go see what Black Bear has to say this time. Nice job! Did you use any accessories to help you out? Two more quests and I'll give you a royal jelly. Six more quests and I'll give you my diamond egg. I've heard that some top beekeepers prefer to collect pollen from the rose field. Why? Well, a couple of reasons. For one, you can specialize your hive with all red bees for maximum combos. On top of that, it's actually pretty close to the hives. For your bees, at least, they don't have to fly very far to go to sleep. Why don't you test it out? Collect 450,000 pollen from the rose field. Thank you for the quest, Black Bear. And I just realized that I can go in this area now. So once you have 20 bees, you can go in here. So let's take a look. Uh, use the free and pass dispenser. All right, so it looks like you can use it every two hours. What do I do now? Over here. Spend one and pass to play the end challenge. Well, here I go. Um, okay, what am I supposed to do here? Okay, so my bees are fighting this ants. Okay, looks like I have to collect some pollen before the time runs out. Let's see. Okay, oh, this is round two. Fire, I guess. Twenty-four thousand, and I'm 
only have 20 seconds left on this round. Oh, I don't think I can do it. over so my score is 32 I got a reward so I have some conversion rate uh, percentage critical chance plus 7% red pollen and the blue pollen as well I didn't have the old amulet so let's equip the new one nice oh and I have a little ant uh, running after me Oh, and this is the, okay, welcome to the ant challenge. Spend one ant pass to enter. Collect pollen and honey to fill the meter on the ant hill. When it reaches the top, ants will pop out. Each ant you defeat grants you one point. Defeat as many ants as you can in five minutes to increase your reward. Rewards include royal jelly, special treats, honey, and ant amulets. Amulets are special items that offer a variety of boosts. The higher your score, the better your amulet will be. 0 to 24 points, you get a bronze one. Uh, 25 to 49 points, you get a silver. 50 to 99, you get a gold. 100 to 149, you get a diamond one. And over 150, you get a supreme. Each amulet has randomly generated values, but they tend to improve with your score. Good luck! Okay, I guess I should have read info before I actually started playing. And Eric is playing the game right now. I hope he does well. Okay, so you can buy the passes, you can buy the stingers here. One stinger for 10 tickets, 10 for 100, 100 for 1,000. That's expensive. I don't know if I would want to pay my tickets for the stingers. Looks like Eric is doing pretty good in the end challenge. Hopefully he does better than me, but we'll see. But I think that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you all next time. Bye!